Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a butterfly. When crocheted using Katona, this one, the size is 6.5 cm by 5.5 cm or 2.5 inches by 2.25 inches. This smaller butterfly, crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton, is 4 cm by 2 and a half centimetres or one and three quarter inches by one and a half inches. I'll be adding the smaller two ply butterflies to my spring blanket. I'll be making them in blue and green for the blanket. Today I'll be using the Katona 146 a Vivid Blue so it's easier for you to see but for my spring blanket I'm using the 606, the grass green, and the 215 royal blue in the Maxi Sugar Rush. I've also got small white beads. I'll use two of them. A 2.5mm crochet hook, a needle to stitch it together, and scissors. Now, the body of the butterfly will look like that. We start in the centre with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it however you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with this yarn at the end through the circle. And there's my magic loop. Then I start with three chain. That's for my first double crochet and then I work two double crochet into my circle. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle, through the front and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with this yarn at the end through the next two loops and that's my double crochet. Then we need one more double crochet and then one chain. Then we work three double crochet into our circle. And one chain. And we need six more groups of three double crochet and one chain into our circle. So three double crochet and one chain. And repeat that till we have eight groups. Now I've got eight groups 
of three double crochet I work one chain and pull my circle tight so I take hold of the tail and ease the circle in fairly tight and I join with a slip stitch in the top of that first three chains so this chain here I put my hook into the stitch bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook and then I work one slip stitch into each stitch and then a slip stitch into our one chain loop there. For row two we start with three chain that's for our first double crochet then we work two double crochet in to that one chain loop then we work one chain and then three double crochet into that same space there the one chain space Now we're going to work three double crochet, one chain and three double crochet into each of our one chain loops around. So three double crochet, one chain and three double crochet into the next loop. And repeat that right around three double crochet one chain and three double crochet into our next one chain loop And again, three double crochet one chain and three double crochet into the next one chain loop. And just repeat that in to each of our one chain loops. We'll have eight groups.
Now I've worked my three double crochet one chain and three double crochet into each of my one chain loops. Now I slip stitch in the top of the three chain there, just that stitch there. And that's row two done. Now we'll work row three now. This is row three here. Now we're going to work eight double crochet into our first one chain loop. We're not going to slip stitch up. We just work the eight double crochet. Now that's my eight double crochet done. Now I'm going to work a single crochet into the space between our two shell parts. So this part here, we've got three double crochet after our space, then we work a single crochet in there. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put your hook into the space and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. Then we work eight double crochet into our next one chain space. So that space there, eight double crochet. Then we work a single crochet into the next space between our two lots of three double crochet, so that space there. And we repeat that around, eight double crochet into our next one chain space. And a single crochet in between the two lots of three double crochet. And then eight double crochet into our next one chain space. And a single crochet in between our two lots of three double crochet. And just repeat that right around the row. Eight double crochet into the next one chain space.
When we finish our last lot of eight double crochet, we slip stitch in the join of the last row there. And fasten off leaving a long tail. We'll use the tail to stitch it together. And that's the butterfly body done. We fold it over and stitch it up the middle and then join the antenna on at the end. For the antenna I leave a long tail before I start and I work 20 chain quite tightly. I fasten off leaving a fairly long tail. Now I'll just weave in the one end of the butterfly and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now the first thing I do is attach a bead to each end of the antenna. For this small butterfly I attach these tiny beads and for this butterfly I'll attach these bigger white beads. To attach them I thread them on but to make it easier I cut the cotton at an angle so it's got a point on it like that so that I can get it through the bead. So I'll put a bead on each end and stitch the ends into the antenna and I'll be back. To make the butterfly up we fold it in half with the tail at the bottom so like that and using the tail I stitch it together at the bottom and then stitch through both the layers up to the top and then I stitch the antenna on at the top. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished butterfly. And there's the finished butterfly. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.